wonder if someone on the panel could ascribe as to why gaming has not yet been given the respect that it deserves. Um, there's obviously some huge businesses being built around the, the sort of culture and people are still sort of learning about it. It's such an enormous industry um, and people throw throw stats around uh, or it says the size in terms of revenue generation um, and it'll only get bigger and I'll come back to the cloud gaming piece earlier that, and the type of entertainment was graphic fidelity is only going one way it's going to come cl closer and closer and closer to the point where it's indistinguishable from 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 real life uh, on simulation based titles as Derek was mentioning very rightly earlier it's that the, the cloud gaming in particular could could go down a route of, of different types of mechanics that that avoid any potential sort of latency issues and that, that would be really interesting how that forms entertainment in the household on the main tv going forward um so i think yeah i'll let, I'll let glenn sort of pick up the baton on this because he's obviously doing an awful lot of work when it comes to fanatic and and penetration with those guys yeah, yeah sure i think that you know in terms of what we know the, the perception as a as an entertainment media right it, yeah there is a there is a, a, a I don't know the answer. I would, would imagine that compare as an art form, an art creation, right? It's people will look at it against you know filmmaking or music and what goes into that, and go, they don't really understand the level of um, work that goes into creating like Red Dead Redemption, right? In terms of you know from script to technology, storytelling. I think that that will slowly, slowly come. Um, the brands though are slowly. Um, getting more involved and the reason is, is, the, is, is, the, is the attention economy right so when there's always a five to ten year lag from eyeballs versus brand money so it was like the internet comes along and the eyeballs and the usage accelerates but it takes a good while for spend to divert from newspapers uh, and and then slowly to tv towards the internet and look at mobile advertising, right? So mobile advertising was spoken about for years. Like, is this the year of mobile? Is this the year of mobile? Well, yeah, it had all the eyeballs, but the brands were, you know, were, were slowly catching up. That's because we're in the media industry, right? So it takes a while for, for things to change. You have set ways of doing things, uh, brand, you know, investment in ways that provide KPIs and metrics, and you don't want to deviate from that, and therefore sort of um, test budgets be assigned to new and up-and-coming platforms, opportunities, channels, whatever it might be. And I think you're at that time of gaming now, really, where um, the, the numbers are, are clear. COVID has only reinforced this. And on the back end of, of coronavirus and COVID, what's that's done for legitimizing gaming, accelerating the eyeballs, um, for you know, esports where, where we see it in terms of as a, as a, as a medium that is watched along, you know, and in, in in the multi multi millions compared to any other sort of entertainment that they could watch, I think then you'll slowly see sort of like the brand viewpoints um, change. 